But the person the maker is, the maker is here. Welcome to 3 Ply Podcast, episode 46. I'm Angie. I'm Irene. And I'm Joyce. And we're excited you could join us today. Um, we are going to start right off with the administrative portion, and that would be our friend oh. Irene. Thank you, Angie. Uh, well, we're back to this moho shawl cow. Woo! Hope that everybody's starting. There's still plenty of time. The end date is July 4th. And uh, I will discuss what I am using, which is the Claudia hand-painted yarn in their addiction line, the colorway is gobs stopper. Gob stopper. And look at this, I have to do it against a black background because I see everything here. It's <laughs> cranberry, red, pink. And guess what? Look at how far I got. She's retired. Right. Woo! -hoo! Oh my God, it's, it's gorgeous. So cute, Irene. Gorgeous. I love, love this it. color. Thank you. Me too. I, I think, think it'll be so nice. You know what? I think the Claudia hand painted lends a really nice. It's as if it was made yeah, for it. Yeah, it was like made for so it. So squishy. Yeah. Spongy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's so spongy. And maybe not so much if it were a winter garment, because right. this is more... Right. Like a spring, yeah. summer, fall kind of so, thing. So anyway, that's my progress. And what about you girls? Well... How we doing there? How you doing? There's my progress. It's a thong that would fit the sock puppet. <laughs> oh, yes. Very sexy thing. A sexy Don't thong. even get her started on that. I'll never hear the end of it. I know. So anyway, this is mine, and it's that purple kawasi, the violet. And again, this is just one of those spongy yarns, yeah. and I just really like it. So here we go. Yeah. We'll see if I can Cute. catch up with Irene. The Good for the season. Speed knitter. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Okay. So, well, and I'm not much further than you. Okay, good. Then I don't feel so bad. So, and like I said, I, if you haven't even started, you see how far Angie and I are? You could join any time. Yeah, not yeah, to worry. We have plenty of time. And okay. it's a quick knit, I think, once you get rolling. And then again, ordered the Claudia. And the colorway is tomato soup. I think I'm wrong. So pretty. So cute. There it is. And yeah, see? And mine's too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's yeah. a lot. Just much bigger than mine. Just a little bit bigger than mine. Oh, I'm off this stuff here. There we go. Yeah, that's, that's really, really cute. But it's true. Once you get rolling, yeah. it's a move. It, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you're just repeating that. It's very cute, though. Section. So. I really like that. The yeah. colors are nice, very nice. Awesome. So we all chose kind of summery weight yarn. Weight yarn. yarn. But you could use anything, any yeah. sock weight yarn. Um, right, any single skein that you have. Single skein that you have. Oh, and I think weight. we also know that we can do it in uh, DK, I believe. Right, the but pattern. I think you probably yeah. need two. Then. Yeah, right, right, yeah. right. I think I prefer the fingering. I don't yeah, I do too. I like it too. Yeah, so I don't know. I think I would make it in a in a thicker weight and yeah. you know what maybe just for, for fall or winter you know <sighs> yeah. 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 Winter. so try to get into summer not even think yeah. about that for okay. a while okay all right okay so we will move right along to um what are you wearing i'm wearing close to you by justina lurkowska it's a free ravelry download i've worn it a couple times before but hey I have to pull the stuff out of pull the goods out. What, what can you say? The yarn was from Elgin Knitworks. It was especially dyed for our podcast last. Was it last, last year? Last year. Three yeah. Yeah. Three ply pink fingering. And look yeah. at how pretty this does look good against black. It really does. Yeah, yeah. You know, you can see some of them. I love pink and yeah. black together, like good and plain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good yeah good that's what I was going to make my silver leaf in that. No, oh, oh, you guys. Still I still have yarn for it, but I haven't made it yet. Silver leaf is a great. Yeah pattern true very true everybody should make it um yeah. all right i am wearing um nothing knitted sorry i mean cute little headband. but the headband's, headband's adorable yeah. this is my like Susie. i love polka dots me too yeah. yeah yeah just love those this is my Susie homemaker headband yeah it's cute nice yeah i'm wearing the stone point that i showed on the last podcast super cute stand up and show it it's so cute. Cute. that is truly amazing Duh. 
Oh, I love it. it. Everybody so loves cute. it. Yeah. Yeah, I really, I really, really like cute. this piece. And I love the yarn. It was yeah. perfect yarn I haven't decided it. whether I'm going to attack it yet or not. What did you say it was? Cascade? Cascade Venezia. Yeah. It's perfect uh, yarn. It's worsted and it's wool and silk. Oh, Gosh, it's so cute. nice. It's yeah. perfect. Yeah, it really looks like it. adorable. Really, really, nice. really beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. What's next? Ladies. We are moving on to what did I finish? Okay. I'll tell you, you. Well, this goes back a ways. Look at this adorable. Oh, oh how cute is this? Yes. Oh my gosh. It was shortly after I learned to knit the summer. Like I learned to knit in like January. And then in the summer, I took this on. It was a little over my head as far as uh, so skill set. So you did it really nice But I job. did it and there was an error in the pattern. And so the error is in the... Oh. I'm not going to show you. But it, you can't. It but it is dark. cute. It's called the Ava Tunic. Oh my God, is that cute. And, uh, I got the pattern off of Ravelry, but for some reason I looked, it's not available anymore. So I, I'm very sorry to bring something like this up, yeah. but I thought you got to see it because I remember thinking, oh my God, the double center decreases yeah. are increased. Holy crap. It was above my head, but you know what? It's cute. And now it's going to go to another grandchild, you know, they're passing it down. So sweet. I'm glad they've taken care of it. That's the nice thing about knitted items, garments, whatever. You can share them, pass them down mm -hmm. kid to kid. Yeah, I didn't feel bad making it because I knew there was one other granddaughter and now there's three granddaughters. Because so I mean, when, when you knit for a baby, yeah. it's like, or a little one, they can only wear it so long. Right. So if you have others that you could pass it down to, it makes nice. it worth the time yes. invested. Right. And that was made with a cotton yarn, Barocco Modern Cotton in the worsted weight, and then I just use various colors. Okay. That's cute. I remember Thank you. you guys have met Debbie, and she, she's been a knitter for a long time, and when her daughter was small, had all made her all kinds of oh, really? parties and kept oh. them. So when she had her oh. granddaughter, she's like, I literally just took them out, gave them a quick wash, and now she had all Oh, how sweet is like, that? It's absolutely perfect. I mm -hmm. actually, I love that. I love yeah. that you can hand that stuff down, and it just, even if it goes out of style, yeah. it's still... They only, like you said, it only wears for a short right, time and right. then you're done. Right? But look at how quickly the years pass. Yeah. It's scary. Yeah, she yeah. was she was That so your own happy. daughter was wearing it and, oh, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yikes. It's kind of exactly. makes me melancholy. Oh, oh, no. Okay. Change the subject. Okay. So, I don't have anything finished with me, but I wanted to talk about um, one of the male teachers at my school, his wife, was pregnant and had her baby 10 weeks early. Ooh. So that's yeah. just like my little Owie. He actually weighed a little more than Owen. He weighed three pounds, seven ounces. Um, Owie was three, three. Um, and he is in the NICU out here by us. And I crocheted him something called a preemie octopus. The pattern is free. It's on Ravelry. It's crocheted. Um, you crochet, it's made in one piece, super simple. I made it in an evening. Um, the idea behind the crocheted octopus is that the tentacles that you make um, keep babies in the NICU from pulling out their cords. When they're inside the mother's tummy, they like to touch their umbilical cord. This gives them the feeling of the umbilical cord and they don't pull out all their tubes. So Lil Oliver, oh, a sweet name, oh, <laughs> um, got an octopus. And I am going to, when he took it to the nursery to give, the nurses were so excited because this is something that started out of the United States. And the nurses were like, we know about this. And they were very excited and they asked if I would be willing to knit, crochet a few more. Oh. So I said, yes. So I thought I would throw this out there. If any of you out there crochet and you are interested, you don't have to, but if you are interested in crocheting the preemie octopus, free pattern on Ravelry, it needs to be in cotton, no eyes, no nothing. Um, you send them to us and we will make sure that the hospital gets them. That's awesome. They, are, they were so appreciative of the, of the little octopus I made for Oliver and the nurses were so excited. So if you're interested, preemie octopus on Ravelry for free, make it out of cotton. It doesn't have to be anything expensive. Uh, you know, go to your local 
craft store, I think. Was it cream and sugar? Cream sugar and sugar. sugar. Yeah. Um, Hobby Lobby mm -hmm. has one called I Love That Cotton. Yeah. Just make them out of something like that. Send them here. And I would also suggest if you're doing that, email us, and then we'll be able to give you the address. Yeah, so absolutely. our email yeah. is 3 podcast at gmail.com. Yes, please. So if anybody's interested, um, I don't know if there's an editing version. There might be. You could kind of put some around on there and see. But um, I'd be happy to take them over. Yeah, so Very cute. That's right. sweet. That's yeah. nice. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. When you don't have one, it's not something you mm -hmm. think about. Right. right. Absolutely not. Yeah. And you know how little preemies have a little place in my heart because I got two of them. So. Wow. Yeah. All right. So um, let's move on to Joyce. What are you finishing here? Over well, here? I did finish. What did I finish? Two things. Speaking of baby things. Oh. My um, and this hasn't been blocked yet, oh but I did finish my it. God. My, this is so cute. My husband's cousin's daughter had her second baby, and she had a girl. Oh, I mean, this look at how darling look that cute. is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? That is the sweetest ever. Is that you know, you forget that they were so little. Oh, oh I know. And this yarn I've not used before, and I only bought a couple skeins, not really checking the yardage, and I almost ran out. This is Hayden, Haydenville DK by Valley Yarns, and the color is light pink. Aww. And the pattern is Norwegian fur top down cardigan. So cute. Uh, OGE knitwear designs. Really That's cute. darling. So sweet. Yeah, oh, only, wait till they get it. It's it so only took a couple of days to knit. Babies, babies. Yeah, so it does need to be blocked, though. And then um, I think I talked about this uh, a couple of podcasts yeah. ago called The Brain Freeze. Look how and cool this is. This was as much fun, if not more fun, than knitting the shit. Now, didn't you say that nat that changed colors, that yarn that you used? Yeah, the Navajo. Um, I think it's by... Navajo. Where is it? No. Who is it? Novo? No. Oh. Uh, Horizons. No. It's Navajo. No. Oh. And the yarn is called Horizons, the colorway. And then I just mixed it with Kenzie. And actually, yeah. You wanna, you wanna put that on as a cowl? Oh, sure. I'd be happy to. Because I haven't blocked that yet either. I don't so I want. I mean, I want it long so enough to cute. block. You know, to wrap oh, twice. So I haven't blocked it. Put a little pen right here. And everything. Yeah, that's cute. But I, I really mm -hmm. like the pattern, and I thought it was a lot of fun. But the color palette, I think, more matches my daughter's mm -hmm. um, color. taste, and I'd mm -hmm. like to make one, but I just don't know what color to do. Well, well how about gray it? and blue and gray? I know, I'm such and so and gray. <laughs> so more gray. But I did want it to wrap around twice, which is why I made oh, a longer one. Yeah, you're gonna do that. After I block it. Oh yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it's cute. And I love that Kenzie because oh. it has oh, it's just enough nice. loft on it. Very cute. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Very, Very cute. cute. Good Thank job. You. So that's what I finished. All right. No bare feet. Did somebody say socks? <laughs> <laughs> All right. You should be an octopus. <laughs> now that looks like oh. a mismatch. Oh. It is, on purpose. So these are just my scrappy socks. Cute. I finished off my three-ply pink yarn that I had for the uh, cuff. Uh, the foot is... Oh, look uh, at that. What is the foot? I'm just saying it. Or the leg is Happy Feet 100 <laughs> Splash in the colorway lipstick. You might remember yeah, that one. My favorite. Uh, the heel and the foot. From there on in, I use Stitch Together Studios Tough Titty. <laughs> and I got a pair of socks out of that. Beautiful. And you know what? I do think it, the fade is... It's kind of cool. You saw it right away, but yeah. it's not a big deal. No, but fade is in right yeah. now. So yeah. there you go. With the fade and the head, It's a pair of socks. They turned out pretty cute. And then I did another pair of socks using Let It Shine Socks by Sarah Yowdy. And I modified the contrast with a contrasting cuff and toe. The cuff pattern is from the Candy Floss Socks pattern by Emily Clausen. And the umbrella toe pattern is from Kay Jones her pattern called Drippity Drop. So oh my gosh, let's this, take a look at the this uh, toe. Look at it's like a 
know. And look at the pattern on the side of the socks. I think that's kind of cool. Yeah, it's cute. So yeah, I like this toe, this that's umbrella toe. Bad. It looks like looking at the top of an old fashioned. Oh umbrella. yeah, and the color for the uh, toe and cuff was from. Um, that's a what really the heck was that? Who did it? No. Uh, lightning bug. It was the leading men fiber arts. Oh, that's so funny. And then the body. I didn't talk about the yarn here. Is from Lolo. Did it? It was that uh, colorway rotten. Oh. Oh my gosh, that's oh. so funny. Yeah. It's funny. I like it's it. funny. It's funny because I just started those. Oh. <laughs> that is funny. Using the rotten. Okay. I like rotten. <laughs> and then I'll show you what is in the works. Uh, Plymouth's Andy's socks. This is in the vineyard mix, I think is the yeah, color way. I think you're right. And yeah, I did a fish lips kiss heel on here, but it's just a standard going, moving along and getting through it. I don't think I'll be able to get two pairs of socks out of this. No, 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 but that's okay. It's lovely yarn. I think this is going to be very warm. It's got oh, yeah. that alpaca like in there. Kind of like a boot sock. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'll never get that in a shoe. Let's no, no, no. Right, Cute. right, right. So there you have it. Very nice. That's my sock business. All right. Okay. And you, my dear? Well, I finished Spencer Socks and the oh. Croy. And I think this Cute. is what the name of this. Um, blue Striped Rag. Boy, that's a nice. That's really cool. Very boyish. boyish. Yeah. yeah. I, really I like, like it. Masculine. He has seen them. But he's not getting them until Christmas. I already told him by Christmas he'll forget. But yeah, they oh, turned out really, really cute. And they're not asking for any wild colors here, boys. No, sometimes they afraid does, but but oh, yeah, they're nice and woolly. I really yeah. like these. Like them. And then like I rain. I don't know why. I looked in my bucket and there was the rotten. I thought mm, I'm gonna start these. Oh so, my gosh, that is so <laughs> funny. <laughs> I started. We always the hit the same. Yeah, we're on the same wavelength. I started. Um, it's called a nice rib sock by um, Glenacy Free Pattern on Ravelry, and yeah, I haven't gotten very far. And that is a pretty colorway. Color it is. A, so uh, I mean, Lolo did it. Yeah, Lolo, Lolo did, did it. it. Rotten. And yeah, um, what's her base? Lolo did it, and we're plush, it. It's plush sock. So I haven't decided if I'm going to do uh, different heels and toes yet, but it's really it's a cute really yarn. I and like the nice color. Yarn. And yeah. I, yeah, it's very cushy. Cool. Cool. And I know I've used her yarn before for a pair of socks. I don't know how long ago it was. She's got a very nice product for socks. Yeah, I, yeah. Really I think she's nice. very successful. Yeah. Yes. So, but really, really cute. Yeah. And that's my that's that's nice very nice. Just your no beard. But yes. I have to say thank you, Irene, because or just because of the podcast for this segment. I always feel bad when I don't have socks, so I'm like, well, at least Irene's got you covered. I promise you. <laughs> I know, right? Don't feel bad. <laughs> Angie doesn't. No. So, no, yeah, it is have, what it is. But so, it you is know, good it's motivation, at least for my immediate family, to have socks for Christmas. Oh, so, I think you know, that maybe that's, when, that's I'm that's the, the, when I'm done with the family, I'll be done. You know. Okay. But yeah. we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. But, you know, we knit what we like to knit. I mean, sometimes I was feeling bad that it was just... A vanilla sock, but that's okay too. Yeah. It, you know, the so, minute I pick up the socks, I get such joy. Oh, like, I am that's amazing. really that's all that matters. Yeah, yeah. you know, I can't say that I do that. Oh, <laughs> it's joy. I, you know, joy. I do it's like good. to carry them in my bag because yeah. I really hate it when I'm stuck somewhere and I have nothing to yeah. do. Yeah, yeah. It really then it's a waste of time, isn't it? It's Don't totally you feel like, oh, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, all right, moving on to what are you knitting? Well, I'm a copycat. Joyce had the um, weekender on, oh, that day in April when it snowed. You were moving oh, your daughter. Yes, I moved oh. my daughter in the snow. What? And I thought, you know, I looked and I what thought, a day. you know, it is kind of a boxy sweater, so it's not going to look um, stunning, but it will serve the purpose of keeping you warm on a cold day. In and the even, though we're, <laughs> yeah, even though we're moving in into summer. summer. But this is it so far. Uh, it's a pattern by Andrea Maori. Boy, it looks like a it's piece lovely. of crap right now. It, it's just the beginning, so don't look it's at that. But I am using the uh, Barocco Ultra Alpaca. Nice yarn. And Beautiful it just color. feels good. I think it's going to be nice and warm. Did you use the same for yes, your pender? Yes, I did. Okay. Yes, I did. And we'll see what happens. Uh, initially, I thought, oh, it looks like it's going to be really big. So I did go down to a size 7 needle right now. And I did notice that the comments in the pattern are indicating that, yeah, some people, the thing grew into this 
you know, monstrosity or like yeast or something. Yeah, and that is the a first lot. person I asked was, I know Meg was making it, so I texted her and I'm like, Meg, I'm like, did you use 10 inches of yeast? She said, no, I went down to five. Okay, so okay. I thought, so people are going to know. I don't, I think. 10 inches of yeast, that would probably but, only look good on somebody who's like a toothpick. You know, but that's not true, because I still think when I put mine on, I have at a least lot going eight. on there. I mean, yeah. it's. You still well, have a lot of ease. But that's a style. I think but, yeah, I have I think, to know that. I think the idea of this is it's a, you know, the, the weekender. What yeah. do you do in the weekend? You throw on a boxy sweater and yes. a pair of socks and sweatpants and you sit on your couch and watch TV. So and that's what it's about. So yeah. like a winter, fall evening, you're sitting out by yeah. the fire, whatever, that's, that's the that's kind of. That's the point. Yeah. yeah. It's not yeah. like to dress up and go out, right. out on the town. So. Yeah. And hopefully people would be thinking, oh, she's really not that big. And yet, it would cover up any lumps and bumps. So, but, hey, there's a place for this. Yeah, there you go. Stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite conversation topic? Oh, okay. All right. So, I am knitting, and I told you I got a little, having to be monogamous to my mom's project on the last podcast, that I got a little crazy and I started knitting everything. And every, Balls everywhere. And everything looks like a thong. I don't know what my deal is here. I don't know. All right, so I started Birds of a Feather. Yeah, that's going to be pretty. So here it is. Oh and I think my I, sh gosh. I showed the it yarn so for this. Elegant. Yeah. I showed the yarn for this on uh, one of the other podcasts. It's that Plymouth Reserve in that's the Natural. Um, and then two different mohairs, uh, Cape, Cape Town Collection, Kid Gloss. I got a tan. They didn't have two of the tan, which is what I wanted. So I got a tan and a cream, and I'm going to alternate the mohair part cream here. The next time I need more, I'll use the tan. The next time I'll use the green. So I started that. Again, it looks like a thong. Okay? Boy, it's very pretty. I like it because it's neutral and I think I can put it with anything. But then I got a little crazy and I started, um, one of the ladies at Knit Night um, started a pattern called Araya and it's DK weight yarn, two skeins. How can you not want to do this, right? right? And she had leftovers. So this is, this is Araya. See it. It's a long one. It's long. It's a little skinny, not too skinny. But what I used is the um, this is the stitch together in. I am not organized. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna miss you in a crowd. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is the stitch together. It's called Drunken Flamingo, but it's actually kind of orangey. And I then you feel glow like, in the dark. I'm tangerine. I know. Or and it's got little flecks of like purple yeah. and stuff in it. Or construction orange. And this, yeah, I love that. <laughs> and this is the same one you had on the last podcast. This is the, oh, really? uh, the direful. direful yarns in the oh, Curiosity that's Voyage. That's it looks like rolled up or what do you yeah, call it? Wound yeah, up. wound up. So this is, but it's the DK weight and you had the sock weight. Yes, that's so, true. Um, so here it started. And it's got like a bunch of eyelets and slip stitches. And again, it looks like a bigger thought. So that's what I'm yeah, getting right now. Quite nice. Very plus nice. the uh, plus, you know, my moho, which looks like a tiny thong. I think it's real nice against the black. I think so too. I mean, look, look at it. Yeah. So cute. Yeah, I really like this bright colors. I was like oh, yeah. very intrigued by it. So okay. I'll miss you. <laughs> okay, I'll wear it to the next outing so I don't get lost. Because <laughs> these guys, there try, she is. <laughs> they try to hide from me. They're like, hide quick, you know. Do <laughs> <Right. laughs> Well, I showed you already. I'm working on the moho. That was at the uh, beginning of the episode. Monogamous so, yes, yes. That's important. Yeah, that's important. Uh, that is my next focus. Okay. okay. Sounds good. I like it. Good All idea. Right. So now we're moving on to our favorite segment. Don't tell my husband. Shh. Let's jump in the gun. We got excited. excited. We get so excited about this. We could love this part. <laughs> All right, so let me show you what I got. Uh, knitted Wit DK Unicorn Giggles. Oh, cute! Now this is now, thicker. That is. That's what some you can color. use to make that. You can use that to make the. Um, that oh, that uh, right? I think I bet, so. Uh, yeah, because I, I was could. thinking maybe of making. Oh no, I think um, it was her worsted that they were using for that. And I was okay. thinking that I would the, the thing with the, uh, not the Malabrigo. Not the cowboy cow. Anna uh, Bandana cow. Bandana yeah. Bandana cow. From Pearl Soho. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bandana cow, yeah. But I think it's quite, not quite thick enough. And it would probably get messed up as far as sizing. 
Yeah, you might have to, because it's like on a ten and a half. I actually had yeah. something in mind for this, which is uh, like slipper socks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah that'd be cute. Oh, so nice. Thick. What the heck? Yeah. 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 And That's you know cute. what? I do like sleeping with socks on, and then at some point my feet are. Yeah. Not in the summer. You know, I wouldn't say. Mm -hmm. I go to bed with them really? on, but I eventually take them off. Seriously? But you don't, re but you don't realize you took them off, do you? Um, no, sometimes no, yeah, before I fall asleep. Yeah. It depends. Yeah. But yeah, in the middle of the yeah. night, I, I, will. Okay. I will take them off. Maybe it's. Well, I'm not going to go down that avenue. It's just old age. <laughs> because you know what? No, even young, yeah, I would wear things on. Yeah, it might be cold. Yeah, feet. yeah, it might be cold. Cold feet, warm heart. Right. Ah. That's it. That's it. Oh, that's what it's about. Though. Okay, and then I bought more of this Andy socks. Look at this Love cool this color. color I didn't see is it, it before. Purple or is it navy? Uh, navy. It's like navy yeah. and oh, yeah. purple lime mix. Purple. So what do you think? Mm -hmm. It looks like blueberry it's lime cobbler. Look at me hungry. I'm no, starving. Yeah, I know. Me too. I'm hungry. I'm getting a headache because I'm eating. Okay. Yeah, that's cute. Moving on. All right. And so what I have is um, because of Joyce on the last podcast, she showed that... Um, <laughs> The shift. The shift. So my daughter, when she went on vacation last, brought me this. And it is from a little shop in um, Austin, Texas. And it is called... I would love to go to Austin. It's beautiful. It's on my list. It's, it's beautiful. We were going to go this weekend because Joe found tickets for like $92 a piece. Wow. I'm like, sorry, we're podcasting. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. So this is... Twisted Owl Fiber Studio, Cute. and the it's color really is called sweet. Mirage, and so it's blue yeah, and color gray really and white sweet. and yellow, okay? Gray. And then I'm putting with it the Butter Yellow, which is Plymouth, Very nice. worsted, I approve. and Arroyo, Arroyo, which is Malabrigo. I so that's the These colors remind me of something that uh, Joyce would like. Yeah, yeah, all I do. So I'm super excited yeah, about she it. She had it first. <laughs> yeah, this yarn from yeah, from that little shop in Austin. I'm really excited. It's about really it. sweet. I think you have something like it, but it's in fingering it, and it's got the the taupe and the cream and the um, teal in it. Yeah. And I was going to use it for something, and it didn't work right. And I just well, I think up. this is great for the shift. Yeah. So this is yeah, going to be my awesome. shift. So oh, I wanted to mention that um, catching up on. Robin from Treehouse Knits. Her shift was Rachel. beautiful. Rachel. What did I say? Robin. Robin. Rachel. Robin's on my mind. Rachel from Treehouse Knits. I was behind on her podcast, so I caught up. And she had done some hand spun, and her shift <sighs> was beautiful. Wow. Yeah, so, and a lot of people are doing that shift. It's, it's supposed to be a really fun pattern. It so is I'm a really fun excited pattern. Excited to try it. It is really fun. But hers was fabulous. Just fabulous. Mm -hmm. Wow. Nice. Right. Oh, I wonder if... The, Oh, you said worsted? No, DK. You could oh, use that for a shift. Oh. oh. And hers were, um, like I said, the original pattern was done by Spin Cycle. So I think all those okay. were more of a hand spun. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you wouldn't have to go with two styles. You could actually pick. You could pick so all cool. variegated colors. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yikes. Okay. Get a little crazy. I think, think, I think Rachel that. used um, a mini set of all um, blues. And then she oh, used her nice. two... Hand spuns and yeah, I gotta catch up. And they were never were close. Yeah. One was, I think, more of a um, I want to say green, but that's not the one she used. She's gonna use that one for, but burgundy and um, I can't remember what the other colors were. They weren't really similar in color, mm. but they turned out fabulous. Well, look at yours. You never would have put those colors together, and oh, I no. mean, yeah. I mean, it was it was stunning. Yeah. You know, it's like purple it and fun. putting purple with. Um, orange, you know, or, yeah. or purple with lime green. Sometimes that contrast makes a really neat, yeah. you know, yeah. thing. Boy, speaking of Rachel, I'm reminded of how she came to visit us uh, last year when we were doing the whole Stitches Midwest. Mm -hmm. If anybody's going, comment below. I just want to get some a handle on how many people are going to go this year. Yeah. 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 Well, we'll be there. We'll be there. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. I'll be wearing something yeah. bright like this. You can find me in the crowd. <laughs> we need to have you like this. She runs off. It's like, where do you? I get I distracted. I get panic stricken then. Like if I turn around and you guys are like not with me, yeah. I'm like, uh, it's, it's easy to lose yeah. your party. Yeah. 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 Keep your phones on. <laughs> or just do like my dad does. Ivory! Joy! Oh. Where are you? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, At least there's a method. <laughs> It's okay. Oh my God. My dad used to embarrass my mom in stores. He'd be like, Debbie, I'm lost. 
my dad, my mother, or my dad used to do it to my mother. And when my dad was alive, he was, he was, you know, almost six feet tall. But my mother's like four nine. Mm -hmm. And they would oh, go, you little people! They would go grocery shopping on Thursday nights, and <laughs> they would do the same thing. But she would find him and she would tuck on his shirt. Daddy. Daddy. Can I have <laughs> Okay, I just have to throw that because this is the we would when I was little we would go to church on Sunday and then afterward we would all go out to lunch. I have two younger sisters and then we would go shopping. And my dad would you know we'd all walk you know my mom would shop and we'd all walk around with our hands behind our back. And my dad would we'd walk he'd walk by the ladies' underwear section and he would find the biggest pair of oh my gosh underwear that he could find bloomers. And he would pick them up and he'd go damn. <laughs> My butt would just like crawl under a rock. <laughs> just <Aww>. so funny. <laughs> oh, this is how we pass the time. I know. Oh, yeah. It just oh made me laugh. Yeah. Just yeah. Look at it. It's a memory. My yeah. 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 My kids don't like to shop with my husband. Everything he picks up, he says, "What about this?" And he shakes it. They're like, "Why? Why do you have to shake it?" <laughs> and now he does it to me, and I'm like, "I'm not a kid. I'll slap yeah. you." Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and she will. Ooh. It's like, why do you have to make it? You have to make it dance. Just, yeah. He makes me crazy. Oh, man. <laughs> Men. Okay. Uh, what are you knitting? We what said. I, we said already. The Momo. Oh, Momo. Yeah, no, we're done. Oh, we're done. No, we're on Don't Tell My Husband, no. which I did. I have to do Don't Tell My Husband. Yeah. Okay. Then let's see what you're not, we're not telling. All right. Now, I meant to mention these on the last podcast, and I neglected to do so. I ordered some labels from a company on Etsy called All This Wood. And they are little teal leather labels, and I just had them put on there, handmade by Joyce. They are so cute. Oh, they so are nice. so cute. I want so one. tiny. Oh, and she had, They had a variety of colors, but I chose this one, and I can't wait to use them. And it was like twenty four, like thirty six dollars. Very cheap. They came really quickly, and I just love how they oh, did. Oh, and nice. you could also choose your font, which I thought was awesome. Now, would you put that on a sweater, hat, anything? I think, yeah, yeah, put you it on just a put hat. It, you put it on the sweater. edge. You should put it on anything. You fold oh, it in half on the edge, and then you sew through those little holes. So yeah, wow, that looks like, so professional. Then yeah, you just put it on the bottom. Put it on the bottom. It's kind of like that uh, hat company. Cute. That, nice idea. I won't say that does those hats for um, Wait, Mike. Can you cancer. see that one? Got my fingers holding. Yeah, it. that's yeah. cute. That's a nice so, idea. So yeah, cute. I've seen it on hats. Yeah, but yeah, I'm, good I'm idea. I'm gonna order some of those. Yeah, and then people can remember that you're the one who. Made that yeah, thing. it's cute. So I was like that. Yeah. It has a place. So I like that. And then, um, as we mentioned before, Betsy has a new indie dye art her shop called God, Dye Full of Yarns. There's not a color I don't like. Right. Uh, no, right. There yeah. is no colors I don't like. And I originally bought two skeins for something for my daughter Carson. And then I thought, mm, I could probably make her sweater. I'll probably need three. So I, I took all the ones in this color. Oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. So nicely muted, too. Yeah, Beautiful. So pretty. They What's blend that color? very well. This color is called If the Apocalypse Comes, Beat Me. <laughs> <laughs> I think all of her yarns are named after, like, well, I think it has that like spooky uh, stuff. Yeah, yeah, like I think everything was named after some something from spooky movies or spooky. Oh, could be. I but thought that's what she said. I just thought this colorway was so it's beautiful, pretty. pink and gray and right. So, um, and that's my. Oh, actually, that's not true. Now, my husband had bought me a skinny yarn for Christmas, and I still don't know what I'm going to do with it. But I needed to buy yarn to go with it, so I got this color there you go. from Cascade Heritage. And then because it's this color, a little gray and cream, so I just got this, and then I got Allegria, which the oh, and what is the Allegria is a staple. Yeah. I love it. And what are we doing with that? I don't know. Oh, okay. So I just bought some last night. Actually, okay. I thought there was a pattern in mind. Not the Casapinka one, but it escapes me. Oh yeah, actually it was Casapinka. Magical. Right. Oh yeah, the magical what, thinking. Yeah, that was the middle one that they yeah. were doing. Yeah, or That'd the nice. LYS so. mm -hmm. uh, pattern. Mm -hmm. And okay. that's that's it. And for that's me. that. Oh my so, gosh! Wow, this went quick. Yes, it did. Got all excited about. I hope it's not too short of an episode, or did we? I, I think know. it's. A, I think people it's think good. that's okay. If it's too short. Yeah, yeah. you don't care. Who was it? Mary. Um, is it Mary Nolan? She always watches them on her lunch hour. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> good <laughs> job. Thanks, Mary. 
Well, hopefully um, when we get back together, Sock Puppet will be in from her surgery. And okay, boy, she's, she's gonna, gonna look spectacular. Right? She's gonna be looking good. I, I don't know. I, she yeah. told me all the things she's she looks get too done. good. Then I want to get signed up. I know. <laughs> all the you know, in. Right. Yeah. You need to get the name of her surgeon. Yeah. It's called <laughs> Angie. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Then I yeah. will refrain from fixing this. I really, myself. I really like stitches, so we could just. No, oh, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I live for that gory stuff. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us today. Keep on knitting. It's good for your health. Bye, everybody. Bye, Bye everybody. Okay. I think okay. so. One, two, three. Oh, here it is. <laughs> okay, ready? Sure. One, two, three. What are you doing? Uh, right now we have to stop because I don't think I have I don't know if I have my thing. Ta -ta